at Tanzania's 53rd Independence Celebration and I am honored to be with the Ambassador of Tanzania. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming out here. It's actually truly an honor to meet you. No, thank you for coming to join us uh, this night as we celebrate our independence anniversary. How does it make you feel to celebrate the 53rd Independence? Oh yeah, really. I mean, it's, when you are in this country, it doesn't look big. But for us, 53 years of independence means a lot for the Tanzanians. We have come a long way, and uh, I'm happy that uh, we we managed to get all the Tanzanian community here. Because with Tanzania, you know, it's been a country, of, a very peaceful country. It's been a, a country that everybody loves so yeah. much. So as we celebrate this 53rd anniversary, we are celebrating our successes. We are the we have been celebrating our leaders. You know, we have had it four generations of leaders. Right. We had our founding fathers, who was Mwalim Julius Nyelele. And we are proud, as you must have heard, we are right. proud <laughs> to be Tanzanians. And you can see Tanzania is a big country, as many tribes, more than 120, but we are united as one country, one language, and that is Kiswahili. So we're really proud that um, as we celebrate 53 independ uh, of our independence, mm. we're looking ahead. Tanzania is one of the fastest growing in terms of the economy wow. among the seven in Africa, but 20, the 20th in, in the world. Wow. So it's fast That's moving, yes. yeah. and uh, Tanzania, as you know, is well endowed with uh, so many natural resources, mm. and uh, we have discovered massive resources of natural gas. Wow. Yeah, that has made us, everybody's excited. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we're looking in the few years to come, Tanzania would be able to graduate as a, a middle income country, yes. developing country. I want to ask you, because as a female, um, to be an ambassador for yes. an entire country, I could imagine that is a lot of pressure. and definitely is something that a lot of other women would emulate because that's not a position that you really, really see women in. What are some pressures that you face doing that or what are some obstacles that you have to overcome? Of course, I have to, first and foremost, I have to overcome this prejudice and stereotype. Yeah. Every time when they address me, whether in letters or in messages, it's about Mr. Mula Mula, Mr. Yeah. Liberata Mula Mula, yeah. because it's like they don't expect it right, to be exactly. a woman. And uh, when I, I appear, they say, oh, so it is a woman. Yeah. <laughs> so that is a stereotype. But otherwise, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Exactly. I'm privileged. I'm honored by the recognition by our leaders to appoint me to be the ambassador in this big country. They call Washington a world capital. Yeah. So it's quite a privilege to be the ambassador and yeah. the woman ambassador. Yes. But I also want to thank our leaders. They recognize the potential of the women. They recognize that that country cannot move without the women. Yes. And I've been fortunate that um, since I joined the Foreign Service, I've been, I've been in various leadership positions. This is now like my climax. Yeah. As I'm heading for retirement, Are you? This, this is a place to be. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for all your service and everything that you've done for Tanzania, Ambassador Moira. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. Um, we really appreciate you joining us. And we say, Africa can only be built by the Africans. We can build it with others, but we can tell our story. Yeah. We tell our story with others, but it's only African countries, African women, African men who can really tell the good story of Africa. Yeah. And Tanzania is rising. Yes. Tanzania is sunshine. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So no ne kampo kwa ngu si manzi Ay, tatu kidonda chako kwa ngu maradi Oh ya ni so no ne kampo